What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. Just got done crying over the last session we were in. We're continuing this one. We're doing 380 to 388 right now because 82, 384 are filler. So we're doing 80, 81, 85, 6, 7, 80, whatever. We're going from 380 to 388. 381, 388. I'm excited. Remember to check out that Patreon for the early access, the full length versions. Come over to the Twitch if you guys feel like laughing i've been crying with us live it's always a, it's always a great time uh i'm not gonna waste any more time let's hop right into some more one piece all right this is 381 continuing the session trying to stay positive that last session from zoro's moment to brooks flashback was a roller coaster of emotions the great coral number Yeah, Brooke's a real one, man. Brooke is a real one. It's what we love to hear, man. It's what we love to hear. Seal it back in there. Not sure that's what I thought you meant, but hey, it really is a storage unit. We're glad for you, my man. We're glad for you. And Thriller Bark was one crazy ass art. Of course you may, my friend. And they even show Zoro. <laughs> Hip hip hooray for the musician. Yes, it is. I feel like I just ended Denny's lobby and I'm so happy Robins can smile and be happy. It's so crazy after this. Now I'm so happy Brooke can be smiling and happy, you know? I feel like I'm just zooming through One Piece right now and I love it. He also has a bounty. Add it to the gang. I'm the dead and skeletonized Brook. What is your bounty? 33 mil. Not too shabby. Work myself to the bone. See what you did there. And the voice actor for Brook really does be killing it. Kanpai. Come by, chat. Two days later. Oh. Oh, with the help of Frankie and Usab, that is a great memorial for them. Huge shout out to them, man. That is a great send off to the Rumbar Pirates. I only knew them for a few episodes, but they were dope. I love the slow tempo with the violin. Shout out Binx's Booze. It's a great song. Way to send them off on their grave, you know? Welcome up, my man. Absolute legend. I think Brooke respects him and was very moved by what he was willing to do. That it is. That it is. Oh, look at Brooke's commercial cut now. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Like I said, I feel like I just started Thriller Bark with you guys, so the fact that we're leaving already feels crazy. You can marry her, Frankie, if you want. <laughs> I'm just too... <laughs> Super! Fishman Island. That I would most 
certainly agree with you. <laughs> I don't think they have panties, but you can try. You are so funny. The Pirate Empress Hancock is nothing compared to them? Pirate Empress Hancock? We passed through on our way three years ago. Fishing round was incredible. She was born in the New World. Uh, Mama is a Mama's Vivre card. Who is Lola's mom? Okay. What is going on? This is the Viva card my mama gave me. Oh, it goes. Oh, that's actually really cool. That's cool. Yeah, it just goes in that direction. Oh, the new world is going to be so sick. Use this to, if we ever run into trouble. Okay. Shout out Mama Lola. Did, when did Ace give us a paper? Was that at Alabasta? Oh, talk about a callback. Holy guacs, we have... What does that mean? Uh oh, that means Ace is in trouble. We got so much lore coming in right now. Empress Hancock. We got Lola's mama. Vivre cards. Oh, we got a. I guess we're taking a detour off Fishman Island. We know that Ace is at Impel Down. I've wanted to see Impel Down since they name dropped it. Okay, this shit's getting crazy. This shit's getting for real for reals. Ugiwara. Shout out the severely injured old man. I saw him there. Yeah, huge. I was not expecting Lola. I'm expecting we're going to be... There's no way they're setting that up and we're not going to see Lola's mom. Got to see... Oh, there's so much shit going on. Now, this gets me way too excited for the future. Oh my god, that shot. I do hope they make it out A-OK. That is fucking creepy and eerie. I do not like that. I'm praying they make it out okay. I like how they had to specify that ships have been disappearing well before Thriller Bark. I just assumed it was Thriller Bark. He aces on his own journey, trying to make Whitebeard the king. Okay, so we'll regrow. Paper will bring them together someday. Okay, maybe we are going to Fishman Island. Kanpai! We're hitting the coup de burst. We're gonna fly. Imagine Brooke seeing that. <laughs> That's quite the experience. I love how they. Oh, that's a, that's a great way to end this arc. God damn. The Holy Land. It said hold. The Holy Land of Mary Hua. We are starting Summit War. This is crazy. Oh, this is 385. I already got goosebumps.
We got Kuma. Probably got the five elders. We got Sengoku. He's not a he's not a flexor like that. That's a good point by Garp. Towards Navy headquarters as we speak. Hey, I love me some tea. Trying to catch some fish for dinner for the aquarium. I love the addition of Brooke to our main trio. Ooh. Hell yeah, that's dinner. They just zoomed right past us. Makes it seem like they're running away from something. Uh-oh. Yeah, that doubles the eeriness. That triples the eeriness. We got whirlpools now. That quadruples the eeriness. Shout out Frankie's new shirt. Looking wavy as ever. Shout out the whole gang's new fits. That's one thing I love about One Piece. They change outfits all the time. Robin looks amazing. The rudder is not moving. We're hoed. Okay, way to take out one of the serpent whirlpools. W man's. Got another one coming in. We got Frankie on this one. W man's. Luffy's about to do this one. Shout out, Brooke, even. Beautifully handled. Ooh, I love that. Every time a samurai or anyone, he's not really a samurai, sheaths their sword, and that's when the. Oh, I love that in anime. The Humming Swordsman. It literally launched us in the air. Great save. Oh my god, I love Robin's powers. Hey, Dracula, have a great time. See you later, my man. Robin has saved so many people in the Straw Hats, just countlessly. The red line. On the day we cross the reverse mountain, it does make sense. Get us on that wave. Yeah. Hey, if Navigator Nami... Facts. If Navigator Nami says it, we're doing it. And this boat, this ship being made of the Atom Tree, it can take anything. Shout out to Mary. I don't know if I'd be standing on the lion's head like Luffy like that, though. I love the Thousand Sunny. It's such a cool ship. We're out of that godforsaken storm. Thank the Lord. Yeah, this is uh, Chopper's first time seeing it. Just a little bit. Just a little. Oh, they can have a little pool. That's cool. Shout out docking station number four. I like how Chopper has his little floaty. Especially after everything that just happened with Zoro. My man's getting them. Ga oh my god. He's like, for the threats that we are going to have in the future, this is nothing compared to the new world. I got to get stronger. Uh huh. Look at the little transponder snail. Oh. Can't dive. This is so sick. A little shark submarine. 
We should probably go up a little bit. Yeah, sea pressure is something not to fuck around with. Little Den Den Mushi. Yeah, submarine would be fun. I would be insanely nervous about the sea pressure, though. But as long as I'm with Robin, I know I'll be okay. Look at that beautiful woman. Okay, when we're above water, it's a different ball game, buddy. That is quite the current level to set. Ors, it changes the games for uh, giant creatures we're fighting, you know? Is that a mermaid? Looks like a star you from Pokemon and a mermaid. Oh, you know that hurt. The Rasta Star You from Pokemon, an actual mermaid. Pokoro said their t their uh, <laughs> I can't even speak. Their tail fins split off at the age of thirty, right? They can walk. Oh, he's knocked out with love. He would take you land on him like that any day of the week. I would assume so. That is a mermaid. Oh. That was a fast episode, I won't lie. No preview for me. All right, this is the next episode. 380 something something. 386, I think. Came me and Papug. That was about the 20th time. Excuse me, miss. I've always wanted to try Takoyaki. Oh, she's like Nami. Kawaii. It's not your first. You've met Kokoro. Thank you, Usa. Yeah. Thriller Bark doesn't scare him. If you want to know what scared me the most in life? Oh, wow, he's fucked up for that. That's funny. You guys are rude. Yeah, you were fighting Lu uh, Luchi when we figured all that out. Yeah, though, you were busy. Kokoro is most certainly a mermaid. Shout out Nami for standing up for the women. She might not be the most conventionally attractive, but she saved our lives multiple times, so I love her. Brooke, don't you dare. Don't do it. That's not what I was expecting. If we didn't just have Thriller Bark, I'd be like, oh, this is the musician that's going to join the gang. Sure. I guess. Sure. Achi. The dopey macro pirates. Now we gotta save Hachi. The 
flying fish riders jesus dopey macro and flying fish riders i love how the the mouth of the transponder snail matches whatever vibe the talker is you know giving we're five kilometers east of grow number 44 and sabiote i've heard of that i think that's the name of this arc we're currently in isn't it right sabiote is it sap let me know in chat is it sabiote or sabaudi I, I hate mispronouncing stuff what are we talking some arlong park guy it's been a long time since i've seen arlong park i'll recognize them once i see them visually Luffy's like, oh, I'm down. Oh, he's like, I'm in. That's hilarious. Oh, is she like Aquaman? She can talk to fish? Oh, wow. In, an, in a world full of the ocean, that is very handy. And we don't get to hear them, but she can hear them because whatever frequency they're speaking on. Okay, okay. I think she likes... <laughs> yeah, I don't think she would do that to her fish companions, you know. They leave visible trails. I like that. It's crazy. We're not even three episodes into the new arc, and it's already drastic. That's cool. Drastically different from Thriller's Bark and Annie's Lobby, you know? That's one. I've said this multiple times, but I love how different every saga, every arc feels in the show, you know? All right, here we go. Sabaudi Archipel Archipelago. Is this where the flying the fish riders, the flying fish riders are? Won't lie. Kind of a cool little hangout spot. Master Duval. Either wait. I saw his hair. Is that Hachi? I absolutely recognize him from uh Arlong Park. He's the one who fought Zoro and was an idiot. They look like a motorcycle gang. Is that why their name is the Flying Fish Riders? Yes. That is the same boy. That's cool crazy i wonder if we're gonna see they really are riding flying fish that's sick i wonder if we're gonna see any other arlong park people at his fishman island i would not be surprised yeah zora was up there working out the whole time we just met a mermaid <laughs> yes he, he has to do the same thing Sanji. That's hilarious. Yeah, buddy, you'd be you'd be surprised. We'll accept any task, especially if there's food involved. Human trade. That's crazy. Slaves. That is nasty. Three macro pirates. That is funny. That's a fair point. No one knows what he looks like under the mask. I hear he's searching for someone. Oh, we're going to be getting more reveals, more lore, more crazy shit. This is one of the arcs of the show. Uh, not Sabaody, but Summit War. I know nothing about. I'm going into this wholeheartedly blind and i'm excited Yo -ho -ho -ho. can't go wrong with a sea shanty on your way to rescue a friend of a friend you know that is so cool she can do that with fish they're telling her what are they saying like they said they'd only bring us to the vicinity of the flying fish riders which i don't know if you guys know in real life i love the real world lore in one piece and the references but there are actual fish they don't fly for as long as these fish do but they actually jump out and they'll fly for like five to ten seconds like flying fish are so cool in real life 
Like, this just takes them to the extreme, but I love the real world references. Damn, they're literally like missiles. And they even sound like motorcycles when they're zooming by, because they look like a motorcycle gang to me. Okay, these are legit motorcycles. Motor fishes. Interesting. I'm curious about Duval. I like that new thing he has on his the glass arm bracelet. You've been waiting for us? Have we met this guy before? Maybe as soon as I... Okay, as soon as he takes that mask off, I'm curious who this Duval is. No preview for me! Alright, this is 387. Yeah, it's not just going to be the flying fish. We've got the macros. we got Duval. Won't lie, their little pirate hideout is kind of sick, too. I don't recognize his voice, I don't think, so... Where... It's gonna... It's gonna be... I wanna see if I recognize him. Red hair. Huge wound on my back throbs. Either gonna be someone super old from like Arlong Park era or someone I don't know. Luffy's crossed a lot of people on his way here. He's not gonna underestimate him because we've already ruined his life somehow. These are the macro pirates. These might be the ugliest pirates I've ever seen. So this man's the king of harpoons. He's rather big. I'm trying to gather who he is based off his body type. Arlong was huge as well. I don't think Arlong would be going against Hachi. They were, he worked for him, so I don't know. That most certainly is Hachi. I wonder if it's going to be like a super throwback. Like, I'm not saying he's Alvita, but like when we saw Alvita again, we were like, who the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, selling human people is wild. We're going to have to put these guys out of business for sure. Yeah. Understandably so. He seems regretful about it, though. I wonder how long it's going to be before we get this reveal. I want him to take that mask off. This is either going to be an actual, like, intimidating villain who we've actually fought and wronged before, or it's going to be more of a meme one like Alvita. I'm so curious which of the which it's going to be. I need to know this guy's name, because I'm going to start calling my friends this guy with the fucking bug eyes, because that dude is ugly! Tansui's also ugly, but not as ugly as Bug-Eyed Swordsman. Motherfucker was drooling. And pacing's kind of going crazy. We're already here. 30 times is wild, girly. I'm saying. And eaten. She got eaten 20 times. Damn, 50 times being in danger like that? There's that we shouldn't go to this island syndrome. That's funny. You got no hesitation. We're really going right in the middle of their shit. Some uh, ink. Maybe that's like a signal that came you would recognize. He just made himself more of a silhouette and outline. I can't tell. Oh, that's why. 
I thought he was hiding himself from Kami, but now he's hiding himself to from Nami and the potential backlash. Chu and Kurobi. Oh, they got captured. Wow. And you just confirmed who you are, buddy. So your ink plan did not really work out. You are a lovable idiot, so. Well, that is the definition of a throwback. 350 episodes later, we're seeing this man. Yeah, this was before Frankie, Brooke, Robin, and Chopper's time. Only you guys knew. Yeah, when she was stabbing herself with, the, ooh, with her sister. Bella Mir. Arlong literally killed Nami's mom. Adoptive mom, but still. That was when I saw Luffy hit one of the most badass battle axes I've ever seen. Chopper, Usopp did win his fight against Chu. <laughs> but you want Takoyaki. Ask him. If there's one way to win Luffy's heart back over, don't waver between your reason and your appetite. Like, that's a good way to do it. Yeah, not too much. He seems like a good guy now, but, you know, there's still some past crimes he needs to be held accountable for. They don't. That's them. You guys are the definition of all talk. Facts! Nami's gonna recognize that he's much more good-hearted than he was back then. He wants to save this girl, and he does. He actively goes out to the macros to try to save her, so... I think Nami's gonna be the bigger person here. Mad respect to you, Nami. There are many people that would hold a grudge, but you're a real one real one Her strong willed attitude very beautiful he has takoyaki eyes <laughs> bro that's so funny oh mask off and i ain't talking the future song come on stop teasing me show me who this man is I, I do love the concept of motorcycle flying fish, you know? Way to save him. Good snag. And going over to Hachi. As long as we can avoid the water, we should be chilling. It is battle time. I'm excited. Hey, yo! Okay, a good spot to end the episode, I won't lie. Next episode should be a crazy good battle. All right, this is the last episode of the session. This is 388. I like how they have a little bubble so they can stay underwater while they wait for the ambush, you know? Hey, hey, hey! And him with a bazooka? Oh, he's just grabbing him. He said, buddy, I'm catching a ride with you. Luffy on a motor fish. Never would have thought I'd see this. Imagine, I d we're not going to, but imagine we can keep one of these. Like on the ship, that'd be so sick. Shout out Sanji, shout out Robin. This is the only downside. If Luffy goes diving in the water, he's going to be like, uh, uh, yep, exactly. Did they just immediately jump in the water to try to save him? Both you guys can't swim. 
Hello? Gentlemen? I mean, I respect the intentions. Ooh. So cleanly handled. And now Hachi's out. He's going to put in some work. Bug said normally Hachi would be able to take out Macro in a fight anytime. Now he gets some vengeance. Goldfish fencing. I can see I can see the goldfish resemblance. I really can now. Ooh. He's got his own Gatling. And Macro Pirates are blasting off again! A spear would not be beautifully handled, Zoro. As while he's embracing them, getting stabbed in the back by a spear would not be good. True. Respect it. You better make us some good takoyaki, and I appreciate the apology. Got the cannon on deck now. Um, so they're literally kamikaze flying fish riders. I respect it. Sanji goes after him. Uh, Luffy takes the impact of the fish. Animations looking very good right now. I won't lie to you. Oh, okay, with a body slam. Come on, make up for it, Brooke. I cannot say, but I can show. All right, humming swordsman, let's see it. He's so agile. The violin sword? Lullaby song is kind of a bar. Oh. It actually knocks people out? I forgot. He can run on the water. Oh. My man, Brooke, putting in some work. Yo. He's still knocked out from the lullaby song. Right into the main area. Maybe if we're going to see Duval's face right now. Oh. This is great placement. We get to see his reveal. Don't put it back on. Damn it. Is he still dealing with some of the aftermath of everything that happened with Kuma? Or what's going on? I don't want my boy to have a heart attack. Maybe some heartburn. Maybe he ate some bad food. I mean, even Chopper said you shouldn't be moving. You should still be bandaged up. He is still... He is going through it. I like how it looked like he was going for Zoro, but he's protecting him. Tentacle sword overload. Shout out, Hachi. I never thought I would be saying that after Arlong Park, but shout out, Hachi. Now, who's the one not paying attention? Shout out, Brooke. Shout out, Zoro. We still have so many flying fishmen. Did I just say hentai? hentai? 
Formation hentai. You talking to me? She gonna hit? Oh, oh, Mirage Tempo. That was very smart of you, Nami. Oh, he's gonna get quite the shock. Damn, left a dent in that fish. Whole straw hats are put in work right now. It's really like an air battle, like a dog fight. It's so funny. And a cow. He said, or gloves. He's almost starfish. Who on God's green earth could this be? Please show me. Plunge me into the depths of hell. Who is he? You mind showing us? Wait. It's Sanji that he wants? Could it be from Barati? Don Krieg? Gin? Don Krieg was kind of a bigger guy. Could it be the Marine full body? Wait, did Don Krieg not use harpoons too? Or am I... I don't know. I'm going to stop trying to guess. They're going to show me. Scorpions poison harpoons. I thought he was after Luffy the entire time, but him going for Sanji definitely changes the game. It has to be from Barati. Ooh, great kick. Great helmet removal. Let me see who this motherfucker is. Got my scarred face. That's very true. Okay, he just looks like his wanted poster drawing. What in the hell? Okay. Okay, I could see. <laughs> okay, I could see why he'd say he ruined his life because now people think that, bro. <laughs> okay. 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 I can't with this show. I genuinely can't with this show. Genuinely cannot take this seriously. I was so anticipating so many insane people but oh my cannot and they hyped it up so much that was that was low-key hilarious oda i don't know how <laughs> you ruined my life you plunged me into hell on the de bro okay so we know who got revealed duval iron mask <laughs> he looks exactly like sanji's wanted poster which is so funny Blackfoot Sanji, so he wants vengeance. He wants revenge. As soon as I saw the swirly eyebrows, I was like, who the hell could this be? I was thinking maybe it's Don Krieg, maybe it's Gin, who could, like, but Gin, I don't know, bro. That, that was low-key the last, I would have never expected that, legit ever. But so far, we're starting off, uh, Sabaudi, Sabaudi, uh, Archipelago. This is the name of the arc we're in right now. We're starting off Summit War. Very different than I thought it would be. We're trying to go to Fishman Island. We met Kami, Apug. We're rescuing Hachi. We're fighting <laughs> Sanji's twin. Oh lord. This is already insanely different from Thriller Bark, but I am here for it. I am invested. 
I love the Straw Hats teaming up to fight. I love Brooke. I love Robin, Sandy, Zoro, Chopper, Usab, Nami, Luffy, every one of them. So this is going to be interesting. I love the world building, whether it's Lola and the little Vivre cards, whether it's the Flying Fishmen and the Motorcycle Gang. Like, it's so creative. I need to, if I ever have the blessing of meeting Oda one day, I'm going to ask him what drugs he took back in the day because I need them motherfuckers to unlock the creativity in my brain because that man is something else, I tell you. Uh, fantastic episodes. I'm ready for the next session. I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you enjoyed these, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like I said, check out Patreon for early access up to 16 episodes, full length versions as well. Come on over to Twitch. It's always like chat's just dying right now of laughter. It's always a great time. I've been out watching this live with you guys. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them because you never know when Duval is going <laughs> to capture them. Uh, have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.